Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Um, and thank you so much if you contributed to our Kickstarter campaign, which is now done and uh, reached levels beyond which we had even imagined. Thank you. Um, now, on Patreon, lots going on. We've had Sam Kuppelman Lines' video about his really difficult competition puzzle, my video about our uh, November monthly reward puzzle, which wasn't quite as hard, and a couple of crossword videos as well from my practice for the forthcoming Times Online crossword championship. Uh, also, of course, on the channel today, we've had um, the post of a listener crossword, which is for cryptic fans and, and advanced cryptic fans, basically. So it's it's a difficult puzzle. It's a decent length video, about 50 minutes. It has a brilliant finish in the puzzle, but um, may not appeal to those who aren't crossword fans. Anyway, let's get back to this um, construction, which came in from Prime Weasel. Now, when he sent this to us, which is, I think, a couple of months ago, he was saying that he didn't it came as a kind of handwritten document scanned to us, and uh, he didn't know how to create digital puzzles. Well, since then, I see he's become very busy on Logic Masters Germany. So this may turn out to be from the, the juvenilia of Prime Weasel. But this is an interesting rule set, I think. this is The puzzle is called Nine, um, and is focused on the number nine now. The rules are these. First of all, no two uh, neighbouring cells can add up to nine. That's fair enough. Secondly, the nines in the grid cannot touch each other diagonally. So as well as normal Sudoku rules, they're clearly obeying King's Move rules. They can't, for instance, you couldn't have nines there and there, or there and there, um, in any two diagonal spots touching each other. And finally, all of these cages, don't worry about the colours, they're just to show where the cages are a bit more clearly, all of the cages add up to 18. So the puzzle is clearly themed around 9 and 18. I can see that 5, 3, 1, those add up to 9, and the three-digit number 5, 3, 1 is divisible by 9. So lots of 9 stuff going on here. Of course, those two last statements are um, axiomatic, one dependent on the other. Anyway, <coughs> there we go. So, do have a crack at this. I believe it's not too difficult based on the rating I've seen on Logic Masters Germany when he did manage to post this on after it sent us the email. So, very approachable, I hope. And uh, have a go at it on the link below the video. And, um, sorry, quick cough there. Now I'm going to have a go and uh, see how I get on. So let's get cracking. Um... Right, if all the cages add up to 18, then these eight cells add up to 36, two lots of 18. That makes this remaining one a nine on the principle that one to nine must appear in this box and add up to 45. Um, so these add up to 36 as well, plus one is 37, that's an eight. No other box is quite as individually helpful, but here we've got two cells adding up to two cages adding up to 36. Right, these two cells add up to nine. There are four combinations of two digits that add up to nine. Can't be one eight, can't be three six, can't be five four, it has to be two seven. And a five cell cage that adds up to 18 has to be one, two, three, four, eight, one, two, three, five, seven, or one, two, four, five, six. So if it's got a seven in it, it's one, two, three, five, seven. Now that means this cannot be a seven, because if that was a seven, that would be a two, and none of the numbers from one, two, three, five, seven could go in this cell. So that is not a seven. <clears throat> That's a two. Now, but there, all three 18s are still possible. Ah, but hang on, what's in the five cage? So 18 in three cells, including a five. The other two add up to 13. They can't be five and eight. That would repeat a digit. 
9 and 4 or 7 and 6. And whichever they are, the 8 in row 3 is going to have to be here. Now, that's in the 18 cage, so 2, 8, these must be 1, 3, 4. This 18 cage is also five cells and must have a one, so that can't be the one, since that the one for box five would already be gone. Ah, oh, one, three, four, they're looking directly at that. That's a seven. This is a six. Nine and four up here, and nine cannot touch nine even on the diagonal. So we can do those. 13 to add this up to 18, that has to be two and three. Can't include a one. Then, sorry about the banging next door, they're still working on the flat next to me, which is infuriating, can't help that. Right, 5, 6, 7 there, 8, 6, 5, add up to 19, plus 18 there is 37. So these other two add up to 8, and they can't be 5 and 3 or 6 and 2, so they are 1 and 7. That means we know where the 7 goes in this green cage. Um, but this could still be 9, 8, 1, or anything involving a single 9 or a single 8. Okay, that's not that helpful. Now, 7, 1, 3, ah, oh, what about this? If that's 18 plus 7, 25. Oh, these two have to add up to 20, these four cells have to add up to 20. And one of these is a 1. So this either goes, if this was 1 and 3, I don't think that's going to work. 7, 10, 11, 19, 29 rather. These would add up to 16 and be 9 and 7. That's not possible. So these are 1 and 4. Let's do the maths again. That makes 12 so far, plus 18 is 30. These add up to 15. They can't be 7 and 8, so they must be 9 and 6. And now in the blue cage, we've already got 15. These two have to be 2 and 1 to make 18. That's lovely how that feeds round. Um, this is a 2, 3, 5, 8 cage. Um, oh, this is a 2, 3, 4, 9 cage, which doesn't look that helpful, but it does create a 2, 3, 4, 9 quadruple there. So 1, 5, and 6 go in those cells. 4, 8, and 9 in those. This can still be 9, 8, 1. Well, or 4, 5, 4, 9. I don't think this can... Oh, or 6, 4, 8. Okay. Can't do much else there. This is now a 3. Sorry, that having got those down to 1 and 4. That's a 3. Plus 18 is 21. These 3 add up to 24, so they have to be 9, 8, and 7. Nice. That's not eight. Oh, don't start with the drilling now. My goodness. So this is one, two, four, five, six. Um, seven, one, four. I'll try and finish this before they do start with the drilling, which I can sense they are about to. Now, three plus 18 is 21, plus another 18 would be 39. That has to be six less than the sum of those two. That's not all that helpful. Oh, what about this three cell cage? Adds up to 18. Doesn't have a six or seven in it, or a one, on, a one or two. So, it's got to have a number higher than seven, surely. So it's either, it can't be nine, eight, one, so it doesn't use two of the numbers higher than seven. It's either nine, four, five, I think that's what it is, because 8 would go with 7, 3, 6, 4, 8, 2, or 9, 1. Yes, it's 9, 4, 5. So 5 in there. That's a 9, 4 pair. Let's take them out of that. Let's take 5 out of there. 4, 9, 1, 2, 5. Oh, and 6, 7 can't go in there. Yes, sorry, that's the more straightforward deduction. That has to be 6 and 7. 6 and 7 is 13, plus 5 is 18. That can't be 5. Um, now, one of these is a 9, based on the position of 9s above it. 
Um, can I get further than that? Oh, let's remember that nines can't touch each other. Yes, that sorts out this nine here. So that's not a nine. Um, it doesn't mean this... Oh, this can't have a nine in it. But that's not necessarily helpful. Uh, right. What else can I do? Oh, there's that other rule that I have completely forgotten that no two cells can add, no two neighboring cells can add up to nine. Now, where can we use that? That can't be a six. That can't be a one. That's good. That fixes this one, two pair. That can't be a two. It can't be a three by the rule about neighboring cells. That can't be a two. That can't be eight. Now I've got a problem. Where does eight go in this box? Maybe I shouldn't have been ruling eight out of those two. I don't know when or why I did that. It can't be in there next to the seven, but I don't see why it can't be here. Let's hope it can, and let's hope I haven't made any logic based on a false pencil mark, which is something that can happen, as you know, if you've watched before. Right, this cell can't be a five because it's next to a four. This rule's lovely, actually. Very useful, again and again here. And as I say that, its use stops immediately. That is typical. Um, right, three... Oh, okay, I don't know quite how to resolve those. Ah, nines can't touch a nine, so that can't be a nine. Now, it's either four, three, seven, that would be four, six, five, or it's an eight, eleven, it would need another eight, to no, another seven. So it's either eight, six, one, or four, six, five. This is a six in either circumstance and can't be next to a three. That's very nice as well. Um, so that fixes two and three. Three, eight, seven, that's not a six now. It's one or five. I'm probably missing some um, implication, but there we go. Right, now what's this? Two, three, nine, five, it can't be. Oh, there's still a lot of possibilities. Oh, how about this? Has to add up to 18. No, I don't really think we can narrow that down much, can we? Okay, where's one in this column? That's a much nicer question. It's got to be here. Uh, one will be in one of those two. Five, one, nine, two, three, six. So this is seven or eight, can't be four. The four in the column is there. That fixes there, I say. That fixes the blue cage. That's eight and nine. One can't be next to eight by the nines rule. Or I should say nine in a German accent, which I can't do. Um, one is there in column five. Eight is there in row four. Two, six, and five to go. Oh, okay, eight is in an 18 cage, so these two add up to 10. They're not eight, two, or nine, one. They can't be three, seven. They have to be six, four. This is two and five. They are right ins now. This is nine, four, and six. Let's do the total of this cage. Eight plus six and four will do it. That nine puts a nine up here. Nine, one, seven, five, six, and four go in here. Two, eight, and three. The two is there. Three and eight. I don't. Oh yes, three can't go next to six. Again, that rule is really powerful in this puzzle. Three and five. Good thing I didn't forget it for the whole puzzle. That would have been irritating. Now, oh yes, this is to finish off a cage. So just a matter of arithmetic, that's a four. Still got one, six, and seven to go there. Eight, eight and eight, so that's an eight. Five here by a naked single, six and five there. Two, three, one, seven to finish the box. Two and one down here. 
6 and 7 to go in, we would have a deadly pattern if it wasn't for the green cage. So that's a 6, 7 there. Actually, probably, no, we would have also been able to use the neighbouring 9's rule there. Lovely puzzle. That, that really isn't too hard. And very nice set of rules working together there to make that approachable from a number of angles, I think. So thanks very much to uh, Prime Weasel for sending that to us. Do check out his stuff on Logic Masters Germany. He's done a lot of puzzles since then. Um, and thank you very much for watching, as always. Uh, sorry about the noises off. Hope to see you again soon on the channel. Bye for now.